If you're a heating and air conditioning technician or a salesperson or even a salesperson outside of the industry, what's a word track that you could use to grab some traction in the sales process and help close deals? This is an important question. I'm Scott Silverman Bell, coming to you live from Sacramento on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets. Now, there's two powerful ways to communicate when you are interacting with somebody. One of them is stories, one of them is questions. Now, the cool thing about a question is I can ask you a question and you don't really have to answer me, but if I give you enough time, you have to think about the answer, the implications, what's gonna happen next. The question that I want to introduce you to is, is it possible? Is it possible? So you're not talking about a fact, you're talking about a possibility. So let's say that you go out to a system and it's got tons of damage. Everything's wrong with it. And this thing is turf. This thing's got problems. This thing's got issues. Whatever word you want to use today. And so you're explaining to the buyer and they're like, hey, I don't want to do anything right now. And you go, hey, look, listen, completely understand. Is it possible that this system's going to fail on you when you need it the most? And just stop talking. Right? The, the magic for you is in the silence because remember, I can ask you a question, you don't have to answer me, but you do have to think about it if I set it up the right way. This is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. Is it possible you can gain some skills that you don't have that you're not going to find on YouTube? Absolutely. freaking lutely See what I just did there? So that question of is it possible is one of those things where it's like, okay, something was not possible. And so now it is. So let's say that you're selling a system. And the person says like, hey, look, I got to think about it. And one of the ways that you close a deal is through discounting, right? There's people who do it. There's people who teach it. Let's just say you're going to discount. So you're at 20 grand. You can use this question. Is it possible that you do something by moving forward if I give you an incentive today? Is it possible? Now, there's three answers that somebody can give you. Yes, no, maybe, right? If they give you no, you got an answer. If they give you yes, that's fantastic. If they give you maybe, that's still pretty good, right? Even if they give you a no, that's pretty good because you have an answer. But you would want to follow up and say, if I can give you an incentive, then what? And they're probably going to say, well, I might move forward. So then your response back is, what's going to take you from possibly to definitely? And then they're going to give you an answer, okay? So here's what you need to know is, is it possible? It's kind of like a question to get you in. It's a wedge question. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm not looking for a definite answer. I'm just looking for the capability, the possibility that maybe, so that we could take it from a maybe to a possibly or from a maybe to a definitely. But you got to ask those questions. Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible we can have a conversation about indoor air quality? Is it possible we can have a question about ductwork? Is it possible we can have a question about system? You could use it forward, you, you know, hey, can we do this? You could also use it in reverse, which is a negative, saying, is it possible these things are going to fail? Is it possible it's going to go out with you on the worst moment that you need it? But just like anything else, you got to practice. Is it possible that you could go out and roll this out and have it work the first time without role play? Yeah. Is it likely? No. So you got, is it possible? Is it likely? You got a whole lesson in here. You should probably go back and rewatch it. You got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Click on it every time I send out a video. You'll get an update that says HVAC Technician Sell Secrets. Send out another fantastic video. You should probably watch it, which you should. We'll see you soon.